Uh, what's what we're announcing today is something that will literally improve the lives of residents here at Coney Island houses for not just years, for decades to come. That's how profound an impact uh, this new funding will have. And we know that because progress is going to be made at Coney Island houses, it is a bellwether for more progress we'll be able to make at other public housing developments around the city that were hit hard by Sandy and that need to be resilient for the future. Today we're announcing a landmark agreement between our city's housing authority and FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Administration. The housing authority will receive $108 million from the federal government, not just to repair the damage done by Sandy, but to make Coney Island houses resilient for the future. It will affect all five buildings, and it will affect them profoundly. I, was, I only want to say that the federal government often responds in direct correlation to how many phone calls Senator Chuck Schumer makes to key officials of the federal government. He is known for his persistence, and that persistence is benefiting the residents of Coney Island houses today. So, you know, I remember coming through Coney Island houses in the surrounding neighborhood after Sandy. I know Senator Schumer remembers it well, too. There were sand dunes in the streets. Yep. It's as if the beach had migrated into the streets of this neighborhood. And basements were flooded and boilers were knocked out. And for over three weeks, many of the residents here didn't have electricity, didn't have power, heat. They didn't have all the basics. And they remember. And they know we can't let it happen again. And we won't. $108 million will give us new and elevated boilers, it will give us standby generators, it will give us a flood protection system, so many things that will create a better environment here. And we have a lot to thank him for. With that, our Senator Chuck Schumer. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mayor. And it is great to be back here in Coney Island. It is, as the Mayor mentioned, my happy hunting grounds. This is where I was nearby, where I was raised. My wife went to Mark Twain Junior High School right down the road. Now we all know the hardship we had here. Residents of Coney Island can tell you the horror they lived in after Sandy. Basements, first floors flood, flooded, mechanical systems damaged, no power, no heat. 22 days, no power, no heat. People on top floors who couldn't even get down older people who needed help, and the amazing volunteers who walked up the 10 or 15 or 20 flights of stairs to bring food and relief and even toilet facilities uh, so that people could uh, do what they needed to do. It was a horrible time and people said, Coney Island, New York will never come back. Well, today is proof we're back bigger and better and stronger than ever. The bottom line is that while many residents are still getting on their feet, we can now see a future, a glorious future, that's a lot better than the past for Coney Island due to what we did in the Sandy legislation. Because we not only provided enough money, which we sure did, but we provided not just money to replace, but to build back better. And that's why we're not just going to replace these boilers with new boilers, but they're going to be floodproof, and they're going to be the most modern boilers available. That's why the electrical system will not be the same electrical system that was knocked out, but will be bigger and better and stronger than ever, both for flood resiliency, but for delivering services. That's why when we put in closed-circuit television, the purpose is, if God forbid there's a Sandy, we'll know what's going on right away, but it's going to help against crime. And that was the whole purpose of our Sandy resiliency legislation, to make things, if you're going to spend all this money, don't just do the same thing, make it better. So in a sense, you know, the scriptures always tell us that out of the greatest darkness can come a lot of light. Out of the terrible darkness and tragedy of Sandy, we've gotten an opportunity, in a sense, a federal godsend to rebuild across New York City and across Long Island better than it was before, stronger than it was before, an opportunity we might not have had if there was no Sandy.
And the amount of money is amazing. It's $108 million for, these, for the, this development here at Coney Island. But if you extrapolate the money that we're getting for this development, the first of many, and we know we're going to get it for Rockaway and Red Hook in the Lower East Side. If you extrapolate the amount of money here, we will get more than a billion dollars from FEMA to build back our public housing and build it back better and stronger than it was before. So again, out of the tragedy of Sandy comes something that is pretty darn good because it's going to be, it would be very hard for New York City on its own to find a billion dollars, not just to build back, but to make things better. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Our Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. Now we've got to make sure, of course, as we move forward, that we recognize that for decades, the residents of public housing here in Coney Island and all across the city of New York have been often neglected. But we're thankful on today that this announcement is further evidence that under this mayor, under this NYCHA chair, those days are over and the residents of public housing will get the attention and care and respect that you deserve. We will not leave you behind on the battlefield of Superstorm Sandy's devastation. God bless you. Thank you. Our last speaker is going to really speak for all of the good people of Cone Island Houses who went through so much. Bridget Purvis has been a resident for 37 years at Coney Island Houses. Now, looking at her, I'm going to say that means she started at the age of two as a resident of Coney Island Houses. That is my personal assessment. Uh, Sandy hit. She, like so many people, thrown for a huge loop, but she had to persevere. She sent her son to stay with relatives, but she stayed through. No electricity, no gas, no heat, no hot water. So this is a personal moment for her, and I want her to speak on behalf of all the people here what this day means. Bridget Purvis. Hello, my name is Bridget Purvis. I've been a resident here for close to 40 years, as um, Mayor de Blasio has said, and um, I've raised my three children here. I mean, this is this is my heart, this community, Coney Island Houses. Um, when Sandy hit, it was insurmountable what was coming towards us. We had been warmed of storms previously, and they hadn't been as um, horrendous as Sandy. So I thought I could, you know, feel it out, stay the distance, you know. But when I looked out the window and saw that the water was up to the second floor, I knew this was a real storm. Um, my heart really came out was when the residents, how homeowners, store owners all came together in a way that I have never seen in all of my years here in Coney Island. It brought a new um, connection, a unity to our residents. So today, it's been a long time coming, but this is a day of celebration for the residents of Coney Island Houses, knowing that we will receive funds to help us not only rebuild, but to secure our area so that a storm like this will not affect us in such a harsh way. I thank all my public officials, NYCHA and FEMA, for coming through for us, and, and I pray that um, we'll go on to have a better future. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done. <laughs>